let's talk about uh, workforce planning using task analysis so here again we will have to understand a few things that sometimes when you're into a business which requires different tasks to be performed by different people or same people uh, so how many people you should hire in order to uh, operate for example this is uh, a restaurant example which means that you're going to start a new restaurant in which you are actually expecting let's say 200 customers so how many people should be hired in order to deal with these 200 500 or whatever number of customers that you're expecting so let's first understand a few things uh, you need to understand the assumptions that what are the assumptions of your uh, business we'll talk about them the number of working hours per shift which means let's say people will be working for eight hours and then fte is the full-time equivalent that you require in order to run a business of 200 customers then what you do is you you actually uh, take each task and then you calculate the time in which that task specific task can be performed and then you multiply it with the number of minutes you need the number of hours that you need and then you decide how many people will be required to perform certain number of tasks so i think these are the things that we can also understand in the excel file so let's just go there so here is our excel file of workforce planning using task analysis and we're taking an example of restaurant so a few things that you first must understand in order to calculate these things many formulas have been uh, given to this excel file so if we just change these uh, number of customers it will change many things here like this so let's just go to our uh, 200 customer examples so first we need to understand that we are expecting that there are going to be 200 customers that we will be serving in our restaurant so it's a new restaurant but still we have some assumptions and we are expecting that uh, guests per table are going to be three which means at one table you will be averagely serving three customers so that means if you have to cater 200 people and three persons will be at one table you will be needing at least 67 tables or 66 tables roughly so th these are the assumptions uh, then we have some more assumptions that how many drinks will one person be drinking and how many pizzas will be eaten by the customers so we are saying that one person on average will have two drinks one person is going to have one pizza and we are only serving pizza here pizza and drinks now how do we calculate our data so in order to serve 200 customers how many tables do you have to uh, prepare because we are going with the 66 or 67 tables so we will have to uh, serve 67 tables right in order to serve 200 customers how many orders do we need to take because there are approximately 67 tables so we'll be taking one order from each table how many pizzas do we have to prepare that is 200 because we took the assumption that everybody will be eating one pizza so 200 customers 200 pizzas how many billings a person will have to do a waiter or the accountant so it is the 67 billings a person will have to do and then how many people he or she will have to chat with because we have 67 tables so 67 chats how many drinks do we have to prepare 400 why 400 because there are 200 customers each will be drinking two drinks that makes it uh, 400 now these were the assumptions this is the approximate data that we have of the tasks core tasks that people will be performing now 
how much time is required in order to perform one task. So we are saying in order to prepare a table, we need two minutes, duration in minutes. So if we calculate the same time in hours, that is 2.22 hours in order to prepare tables. How many minutes will we take in uh, taking the orders? Three minutes per task, but in total, you need three hours and 33 minutes, or you can say 3.33 hours in order to take orders. And then pizza preparation will take four minutes average, and then 13.33 hours will be taken in just preparing pizzas. And billing will be done uh, for 67 tables into three, three hours and 33, 3.33 hours. And then chat, and then prepare the drinks. Preparing drink will take half a minute, and then 400 uh, drinks will take 3.33 hours. So this in total will be done by the people in 27.78 hours. All of these tasks to cater 200 people will be done in 27.78 hours. Additional tasks. Additional tasks, for example, 5% of the time will be uh, the break. Obviously, the employee will not be working for uh, straightforwardly for eight hours. They will be taking some breaks. So the break counts is uh, 0.40 hours. And then administrative task is 0 0.80 hours. And then miscellaneous is 20%, which is 1.6. So additional tasks, if performed, 2.80. So what you do is uh, this plus the additional tasks. When you plus them, you come up with these number of hours. So these are the 30.58 hours that you will require in order to do all these tasks and in order to serve 200 customers. So if you simply uh, divide this 30.58, with eight, because eight uh, hours shift is there, you will get to know that you will be needing 5.2 people uh, who will be working real time, but 3.82 people, because uh, uh, these are the people who will be working for eight hours in order to complete these 30 hours. And FT is required after additional task. This is before the additional task and this is after the additional task. So if you have 5.34 people with you, you will be able to serve 200 customers. So now what if we have more customers for the same restaurant? So let's just put 400 customers here. The amount will be doubled. Let's suppose if you have 1000 customers, so you will be needing 26.71 people. So this is how we use our workforce planning using task analysis. So try and understand it first and then practice it so you can understand it how we can plan for our workforce that how many people do we need in order to do these tasks and in order to serve these many people. Thank you very much for now and we'll see you in the next lecture.